This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Jim Corda of the Diocese of Youngstown. I'm Barb Zorn from Holy Family Parish in Poland and St. Columba Cathedral. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers, Guy and Donna Mayorana. We sing your praise, O Christ, with hearts exalted high. Forgive us when we fail to hear our neighbor's anguished cry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So nice to be with you again as we gather to celebrate God's love. So let us now acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us this day with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest. And, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, if only you would heed the voice of the Lord your God and keep his commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you return to the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. For this command that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious and remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say, who will go up in the sky and get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out. Nor is it across the sea that you should say, who will cross the sea to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? No, it is something very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You have only to carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your, your words, words, Lord, are, are spirit, spirit and, and life. life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your, Your words, words, Lord, Lord are, are spirit, spirit and, and life. life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your, Your words, words, Lord, are, are spirit, spirit and, and life. life. 
The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your, Your words, words, Lord, Lord are, are spirit, spirit and, and life. life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Your, Your words, words, Lord, Lord are, are spirit and life. And life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of the, his cross, through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, you have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, who is my neighbor? That man in today's gospel who posed that question had a problem. He wanted to take the Bible seriously. He wanted to inherit eternal life, he asked Jesus. The passage said more, and he was likely wanting to go to heaven. So Jesus reminded him that the path to that goal was to love God with your whole self 
and your neighbor as yourself. Apparently, he had no problem about loving God, but the part about loving your neighbor to him was a bit disturbing. Who is my neighbor? The man asked. Now this law was given to the Jews, so obviously it referred to all of them. But according to the logic of the man who asked the question, this commandment could not possibly apply to all Jews. Some of them were simply not worth loving, the man thought. Take Zacchaeus, for example. He was a betrayer of his own people, collecting taxes for the Romans. And what about the prostitutes? They were the blight of society. Honorable people would have nothing to do with them. You see the man's dilemma. The man in the gospel was struggling with the question, who is my neighbor? Now Jesus gave him no answer. He simply told a story. And the point of the parable was that the man had to answer his own question. And so do you and me. You see, a neighbor is a choice that we make. First of all, no one can compel anyone to be a neighbor to another person. The man in the story obviously had some people in mind that he really didn't like. God himself could not have forced the man to be a neighbor if he was unwilling to do so. I heard about two men who lived next door to each other. Their houses were no more than 30 yards apart. In a geographic sense, they were neighbors, but these two had never spoken a word to the other. Circumstances in life put them in proximity to one another, but they chose not to be a neighbor to the other. On the other hand, no one can prevent a person from being a neighbor if they choose to be a neighbor. Now the Samaritan in our story was a neighbor for one reason and one reason only. He made up his mind to do so and he would not let anything stand in his way. You know, fear might have stopped him. He could have told himself that he was too busy to stop and help. Maybe he was too poor or stingy. So he really wanted to get involved. He made that decision. Ultimately, the Samaritan refused to use any excuse and he chose to get involved and made up his mind to be a neighbor. He would not let anything stand in his way. You see, that's the nice thing about being a neighbor. When we choose to do it, no one or nothing can stop us. I remember hearing the story about a lawyer who worked in a high-rise tower in New York City. At the front entrance was a newsstand where he would make some small purchases in the morning. Now the owner of the newsstand was an ill-tempered, impatient man. He would say things to customers like, well, well, make up your mind, I don't have all day. And occasionally he would say, is that the smallest bill you got? I'm not running a bank here, you know. Well, one day a friend asked the lawyer if that man was always so rude. And he said, yes, he was. Then why are you so nice to him all the time? The man asked. The lawyer replied, I made up my mind a long time ago not to let him decide how I was going to act. I remember a little poem that goes like this. He drew a circle that shut me out. Heretic rebel, a thing to flout. But love and I had the wit to win. We drew a circle and took him in. Who is my neighbor? That is up to you and to me. If you are unwilling to be a neighbor, not even God himself can make you. But if you choose to be a neighbor, no one can stop you. The choice is yours and mine. 
Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, the body of Christ, that we may be Christ's body in the world, reaching out to those in need, lifting up those who have fallen, and caring for those who are suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civic leaders at every level, that they may exercise compassion toward their constituents, and that their compassion may be reflected in the laws they enact and the policies they implement. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For judges, prosecutors, police officers, and all those who apply and enforce the law, that they may do so with justice and fairness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For victims of crime and abuse, that they, like the victim in today's gospel, may receive the care and comfort they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That our communities of faith may reach out to those who we do not ordinarily regard as our neighbor, exercising our love for fellow children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, may we reach out to one another as our neighbor in Christ, and one day be welcomed to the fullness of life and love in your kingdom. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth,
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us 
is peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We cannot on the sunlit sky, the moon, the wildflowers growing, for we are part of all that is within life's river flowing. With open hands receive and share the gifts of God's creation that all may have abundant life in every earthly nation. When bodies shiver in the night and weary wait for morning, when children have no bread but tears and war and so 